Got another knife uh, video for you. This is going to be a scale swap of this knife here, the Spydeco Yo Jumbo. I'm calling it Yo Jumbo. I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but that's what I'm calling it. All right. I normally, I haven't done a first impression of this knife. I did do a unboxing, but I haven't done a first impression because this scale is so aggressive that, um, and I, I understand it's probably aggressive because it's, designed to be a tactical knife, but 99% of us are not going to use this as a tactical knife. And I am certainly not an expert when it comes to what makes something tactical, tactical or not. But um, regardless of that, I'm going to view, review this as if it was uh, being used for EDC. And because of its blade shape, it's a great EDC knife. Well, a worn clip blade is just fantastic for that role. Um, so... The point is, I, I haven't done a first impression of this knife because I, I can't carry it. So what I did is, it's just, it's just really, really rough. So what I did is I went online and I finally found a scale for it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and just get right to it. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Wrapped it up. Uh, too bad. I ripped the, ripped the bag. Didn't think it would be, I don't know. It's a nice bag. I can use that for camping. All right, so what do I have here? Beautiful scales. DNA lasering. Um, I got this on ST, I think it's called. So, you know, there's not a ton of uh, scales out there for this. And uh, the ones that they were there, I just didn't like. I tend to like a, a smooth scale. A smooth surface in my hand. It just—it feels good to me. Oh, look at this oh, DNA lasering. I like this. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Anyway, let's just get to this. I tend to have pretty long videos. Just gonna move right along. Uh, this is a large knife. It's a great knife. I—I I just don't like this. Uh, this texturing. So, let's see how much it weighs before I get going. That's in grams. I, I guess we can do grams. I don't care about grams. Whatever. 149 grams. And 5.3 ounces. So, you know, for a nine, nine and a quarter inch knife, I mean, that's not horrible, right? But I'm, I'm sure people don't like it. I like a nice sized knife. Uh, I like a larger knife and a knife with some heft to it. Uh, this feels great. I, I like the I like the weight of this. Uh, I I'm not I don't I'm not replacing the scales to increase the weight, but sometimes I would do that on some knives. Anyway, instead of droning on, let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to take off. There's not a lot of videos on this, so I'm going to just take off the uh, these screws here first. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the clip off. So I can rest. Usually you want to take the clip off so you can rest it uh, flat on the mat when you unbolt this side. Uh, if you take this off, it'll be flat. So these are T6s. And now moving on to, man, this texture really is super rough. <laughs> I, you know what? It wouldn't be as bad if he had smooth out uh underneath the clip but maybe he didn't do that because you could you know put this in four, this clip in four different directions tip up tip down left right so if you smooth out this area then and if you want to change the clip position then you got a weird looking smooth out area i guess you could do it yourself and i'm okay with modifying things of my own all right so moving on I might as well use this uh t Eight for the body. We'll take the body off. I just hope there's no surprises with, you know, there's no, I didn't see, I saw one video on this, I think. But oh, it's not, doesn't feel like it's seriously locked tight in there. Make sure it's not free spinning. It's not. All right. That's good. All right. Now this has Loctite in it. And actually quite a bit of Loctite. 
Hey, while I got your attention, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below, like the video, also join my Facebook and Instagram pages. It's under Appalachian ATV Rider, the same, the same name as this channel. It really helped me out I'm trying to grow the channel and, uh, you know, the market's a little saturated with us guys, so all your help would be appreciated. So this has got a steel liner. There is a lot of Loctite on that. Do you see that? Oof. Oh, look at that. All right. Just go to town with that Loctite. Okay. There we go. Makes me nervous. This knife is super sharp. This is. I'll leave that right there. All right, get this off to the side. Here's the liner. So it's a phosphor phosphor bronze washers. All right, so this is going to be the. belong to this guy here so let's get that in there all right leave the washer there and now for this side now hopefully oh, there is there's loctite in this stuff too and they love their loctite let's just hope and pray this doesn't spin freely i can't tell you how many of these things i've done where Makes you regret. Oh, there we go. It makes you regret life. And of course, now it's free spinning. Nope, nope. Oh, I got lucky. All right, I'm going to shut up. I don't want to jinx myself. I, I just feel so lucky that this thing came out. No problem there. All right, so that's that one. Get this thing going here. That goes there. This green side faces up. Before I do that, I'm gonna put these these things in from the back side. Get them lined up. All right. Is this a T8? T8. All right. All right what's this? Let's do that. Let's get these spacers in, at least from one, coming from one direction. I think that's the right way to approach this. Um, and I probably should Loctite this in. So let's go ahead and do that. They should have had like these uh, spacer things should have a, a, a rim on it that it would like insert into the steel lock, the steel, um, the steel frame. My back's killing me. Guys out there and girls, don't get old <laughs> or older. I'm not old, but. Older. All right, let's do this. Let's get that in there. Get my pivot in there. Put some Loctite. Uh, that'll be a 10. That'll be this guy. Uh, wrong one. I want to put the Loctite on the screw. Got that. Here we go. It's not going in all the way smoothly it's probably probably got to clean the threads out but i don't have anything to clean it out with so let's just try this guy maybe one screw works better than the other on this side so here we go if you first don't succeed there you go they that see I'm every once in a while I surprise myself I do something right 
that was the trick. All right, now that that's in there, getting back to this, put that in there. Lays flat, that's perfect. Put this frame in there. That lines up. I really hate that these things are, you gotta pray you get that in right. It already feels a little off. I really hate these uh, these standoffs here. What were they thinking? And that blade's not sitting in all the way. I think that's because it's closed. All right, I'm gonna try it open. We'll see. We shall see. I'm not happy with this fitment when it's open. There we go. Right there. Perfect. So you don't want to crank it down until you get everything aligned. So I didn't crank anything down. Just crank, you know, just got it to, I got, I put it together. The liner and the, and the barrel spacers and they look like they're still aligned. It's not cranked down yet, but let's go ahead and just tighten it a little bit. Tighten it a little bit all around, slowly. It's a little off center, but I'm not gonna worry about that for the moment. You don't really wanna gorilla tighten it uh, right away. Yeah, slowly tighten each side. See how it's fitting. And it's, it's leaned over to this side here. And this knife wasn't exactly centered. It was pretty good, but it wasn't exactly centered. I don't know if you can see that. There's hardly any any space on this side, and there's very little space on that side. But it's a pretty tight fit. It's a nice full shot. So this two tone look is. Well, I'm not sure. I'm crazy about that, but. I do like the feel of it. I mean, this is so much better than this. I just, uh, yeah, that'll grow on me. The black and the, this, 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 the screws are black. Um, yeah, I like this. I'm going to, I'm going to mess with this, uh, I'm going to mess with the centering pretty soon, but let me go ahead and put the clip on. So, How is it way now? Put that cap on so it doesn't dry out. All right, ounces. 6.7. So it's a 0.1 ounce heavier than my shaman with the, the tight scales on. And I like the weight of that. In grams. Or 191 grams. Yeah, that's not bad. 6.7. Feels good. You know, the looks are the looks. Just, I can hear it still loose. All right, I'm going to mess with that. That might be the clip. No? Anyway, I'll mess with that later. There you go. Feels good in the hands. I like it. Um, I'm not so crazy about this swell here, but that's the swell that was here already. So this kind of forces your hand to go somewhere, but like I can't get two fingers in there. And if I do, then what do I, I guess, I don't know. I'm not used to that, that grip. Um, this, it feels good though, but the titanium scales feel great. I love the weight. The looks is subjective. Uh, me personally, I'm not crazy about the looks uh, because of the two tone. But that's just me. 
but I will now I'll definitely be able to carry this. It's not going to tear up my pocket, which is really what I wanted. Um, so we'll see. It's not going to be a deep carry, but it has nothing to do with the aftermarket uh, scales. All right. Thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Appalachian ADV Rider. Please leave a comment below. Hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to join me on Facebook and Instagram under Appalachian ADV Rider. Thanks again. I will see you next time. Take care.